The Minecraft mob boat is just around the corner. So today I'm going to be building three of the mobs you get to choose from this year. If you like the video, please don't forget to sub and get right into it. First up, we have the penguin, which was already going to be a challenge because of my limited supply of dark blue bricks. I built up the sides of the penguin using these dark blue roof pieces. I had to plan this out very carefully so I could make use of all the pieces without wasting anything. After I finished the sides of the body, I built a connector piece for the head to fit on. Here I'm just finishing up the rest of the body, putting everything in place, and as you can see, I put that connector in there just so the head can fit on properly. Now I got to work on some of the outer design of the penguin, such as the stomach, I used a bit of a snot technique here so I was able to attach the feet properly. As you can see there, that piece just slides in there really nicely. And then I just quickly finished up the outer design, adding extra little details. Next I started work on the head. Again, I used the slope bricks because I didn't have enough dark blue pieces. Now it's time to add the feature that really brings this penguin to life, and that is going to be the face. I used a couple dark blue tiles and some red bricks to add in the special nose there. Finish it off with some one by one tiles for the eyes and of course the penguin hair once the base of the penguin was done it was time to add the finishing touches you can see i'm just really trying to squeeze the last little bits out of my dark blue brick collection the final feature of our penguin is going to be the legs for those i used a couple pink plates tiles and bricks and i attached them to the bottom and with that our penguin is done Looks like I uh, missed a spot there, but you can always subscribe to help fund my brick collection. Anyway, enough of the shameless plug, let's get on to the next mob. The next mob I'm going to be recreating is the armadillo. I spent way too much time trying to figure out how to get the armor plating on this guy. Eventually I just settled with a bunch of black 1x1 plates in between each section. The rest of the body was basically just stacking brown bricks on top of each other with the 1x1 plates in between of course. I added in the legs here using 2x4 bricks. Then I started on the design for the head. First, I tiled off the rest of the remaining open space, including the legs. I also had to do a minor bit of troubleshooting here, as I couldn't get the neck piece to get out, but I quickly fixed it. I was also having a hard time finding the right design for the ears, and I eventually found a technique utilizing jumper plates. They separated the 1x4 tiles perfectly. I attached the ears to the back of the head and stuck it onto the model. And as a finishing touch, I added in this little tail. Last but not least, for our final mob, I'm going to be constructing a crab. For the most part, this is a very easy build. I used 1x2 orange tiles for the legs. I layered various plates above that to add more depth to the crab. Then I got to work on the hinge pieces for the crab's claw. I added in the final pairs of legs. I began tiling the crab off and adding in the features. And I placed in his eyes right here. Now I could finally get to work on building what makes the crab stand out the most. And that is the claws. The design I used used a bunch of orange bricks and 1x1 one one clips to attach to the body. I also built the top section of the claw overhanging just like we see in the trailers. When that was done, I attached it onto the crab and our little guy was complete. And now I will showcase the mob so you can see them in more detail. Looks like the armadillo wants you to subscribe, no pressure. And there we have it, the Lego Minecraft Mob Boat 2023. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.